Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss introduction to problem solving using computers. Before we proceed and understand what is a problem, what is a problem solving, what are problem solving steps and what are problem solving tools or techniques, we are going to discuss what we have learned in the previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we understood that general purpose programming languages are used to develop applications for variety of domains. C, C++, C Sharp, Java are considered as general purpose programming languages. Specific purpose programming languages are used to develop applications for specific domain. HTML, SQL, Prolog, Lisp, COBOL, JavaScript are considered as specific purpose programming languages. Then we discussed introduction to programming paradigm. Programming paradigm is an approach. Programming paradigm is a way or a style of writing programs. Paradigm means way or a style of writing based on the way or style of writing programs based on the approach used to solve problem. Programming languages are divided into unstructured programming languages structured programming languages, object-oriented programming languages, and object-based programming languages. Unstructured programming languages follow linear approach to solve a problem. Structured programming languages or procedure-oriented programming languages follow top-down approach to solve a problem. Object-oriented programming languages follow bottom-up approach to solve a problem. Object-based programming languages follow top-down approach to solve a problem. In unstructured programming languages, entire application is written in a single unit. In structured or procedure-oriented programming languages, entire application is divided into smaller units called as procedures. In object-oriented programming languages, entire application is divided into smaller units called as entities or objects. In object-based programming languages, entire application is divided into smaller units called as prototypes. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss introduction to problem solving using computers. First of all, we understand what is a problem. A situation that is unwelcome is known as problem, which needs to be dealt with and overcome. What is a problem? Problem is a situation that is unwelcome. As in our day-to-day -day life, while developing softwares also, we come across variety of situations or problems that we need to deal with and overcome. For example, if I need to create software to manage student details, while developing the software, we come across many problems that we need to deal and overcome. For example, if I need to find average of marks obtained by a class of students, then I need to find an efficient way or a procedure to find the average of marks obtained by the class of students. That is a calculation problem. If I need to search or locate for a student name in the available list quickly, that is a searching problem. If I need to sort list of available students in an ascending order based on the marks obtained by them, that is a sorting problem. There might be variety of problems we come across while developing the software like list processing, graph processing, image processing, sound or audio processing, storage problem. Storage problem involves storing the data in an efficient manner, that is storing the data in less space. We need to perform data compression, sharing resources in an effic efficient manner, etc. Already for many common problems, various solutions are designed by computer professionals. As a programmer, we need to learn when to use which solution because each solution has its own benefits and limitations. Also as a programmer, we need to create, try to create better and more efficient solutions to overcome the limitations of current solutions. Now we understood what is a problem. Let's understand what is problem solving. Problem solving is a process of finding an efficient solution to the given problem. Problem solving is a process of arriving at an efficient solution to the problem. Problem solving using computers require careful thought process and proper planning. 
As computer has no self intelligence or natural intelligence like humans, we need to guide computer how to solve a problem by providing a set of well defined steps or a set of well defined instructions or you can say a set of well defined commands. Now we discuss steps to solve any problem using a computer. To solve a problem, first we need to understand and analyze the problem. We need to understand and analyze the problem carefully. What is the problem? Why is the problem occurring? What are the inputs to the solution? What are the outcomes of the solution? How we come to a solution? We need to understand and analyze the problem very, very carefully because this is very, very important step. Then we go to the design step. In the design step, we design the solution by using an appropriate problem solving tool. There are various problem solving tools we have. We can use an appropriate problem solving tool and design various solutions to the problem. In the design step, we discuss how to get the solution to the problem, which tool is used to design various solutions. We decide out of many solutions, which solution is more efficient and more effective. What are the data types? What are the operations to be performed on the data? Translate the efficient and effective solution into a well-defined set of steps or commands. So in the design process, we create many different solutions to the problem. Out of that, we choose one efficient solution and uh, translate that efficient solution by using an appropriate problem solving tool to a well-defined set of steps. Then we go to the coding step. In the coding step, we code the efficient solution by using an appropriate programming language. Once the coding is done in a specific programming language, next step is to run and test the solution for correctness and efficiency. Whether the program is giving the correct outputs for various inputs, whether it is efficient with respect to time and memory, whether the program is taking less memory, whether the program is running in less time than other solutions. Once the testing is done, next step is to document the solution itself. We document the program properly so that other programmers can use the program to solve the similar problem if they come across in their application development. Here I have listed some problem solving tools which help us to design solutions to the problems. Algorithm, pseudocode, flowchart, data flow diagrams, UML diagrams. UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. These are problem solving tools which we use while developing softwares to create solutions to the problem. Most commonly we use algorithm, pseudocode and flowchart for uh, moderately complex applications. For more complex applications, we use data flow diagrams and UML diagrams like in object oriented programming languages design solutions, we use UML diagrams and data flow diagrams. For simple logics and all, we use algorithms, pseudocode and flowcharts. We discuss about uh, these tools in detail step by step in upcoming video tutorials. Data flow diagrams and UML diagrams, we discuss them in uh, later video tutorials. In the next tutorial, I am going to discuss about uh, algorithm. How do we write algorithms? What are the benefits of algorithms? How they help us to solve problems efficiently? Hope you guys have understood what is a problem, what is problem solving, what are steps to solve a problem and problem solving tools. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.